My dear friends, I am Arun Chief Singh Barrister, New Zealand. Today I will discuss with you opportunities and requirements for international students who wish to study uh, future study courses in New Zealand. Immigration New Zealand has started the uh, student visa category which has few requirements. The first requirement is that you must have minimum basic qualification. It could be either 10 plus 2 or graduation or either it could be post graduation or any uh, kind of uh, technical uh, qualification uh, which you have gained in your home country. After that you must have English language ability to uh, match New Zealand standards of English language because New Zealand uh, has English as the um, first medium of education here. So you must have uh, either 5.5 bands general IELTS what we call IELTS test 5.5 uh, bands general or above you need to have if you want to apply for student visa to New Zealand. The next requirement is of having uh, funds for paying for the uh, course which you want to choose as well as maintenance expenses for your uh, stay in New Zealand during the period of your study visa. Apart from that, you must have a letter of offer from an educational institution uh, of New Zealand to study a particular course. To select a course, you need to be very very careful. The course must be of a reputed institution and it must relate to your uh, past studies or the study which the career which you want to adopt uh, in your future life. So these three or four main uh, requirements you need to fulfill if you want to apply for student visa. After applying for student visa your case will be processed by an immigration officer who may choose to interview you if he has he or she has any concerns about whether you are a genuine applicant for a student visa or not. Particularly the matters of concern for the immigration officer could be the past travel history. If you have uh, traveled to any other country in the past and have breached any of your conditions of the visa overseas, certainly it would be a, uh, have bad effect on your application for student visa to New Zealand as well. Another aspect would be uh, if you haven't, uh, uh, if you have studied uh, in the past and there is a gap period between the proposed study and your earlier studies, then you need to prove by evidence um, what you were doing during the period of the gap. So that is uh, a thing which you need to prove through documentary evidence. And the funds must be from the known source of income. It shouldn't be from somebody borrowed for a short period of time and put into your account and then you can claim that these funds are yours. The best thing would be either to uh, attach the bank documents showing that you have uh, student loan approved or if you or your parents have uh, sold some agriculture or any other property which could prove that the funds uh, came from the sale of the property or any other assets then it could be um, income from known sources and Immigration New Zealand may not have any other concerns with respect to the funds. Another aspect the Immigration Officer may deal with is the socio-economic incentive for the applicant to return back to his home country after completion of the study. Immigration New Zealand wants every applicant of student visa to show that what commitment or what attachment uh, the applicant has back in his country that will uh, attract him or that will compel him to return back to his home country after completing the course of study. 
However, immigration policy says that if a person, if an applicant of student visa completes his study and gains a recognized qualification in New Zealand which qualifies for points under the skilled migrant category, the applicant may be eligible for uh, graduate job search visa or uh, practical experience work visa or any other work visa uh, under different categories. But overall the immigration officer wants to be satisfied that the applicant is genuine applicant for his study visa and that he has some attachment or some commitment back in his home country which would attract him uh, or which would compel him to return back to his country. Apart from all these documents, the applicant must have a financial guarantor who can guarantee all the expenses or any other costs incurred by anybody else, possibly with the, by the Immigration New Zealand or any other agency or authority in New Zealand to pay uh, to, the, to the authorities on behalf of the applicant. So in, in a brief, the documents you need to attach with your application for student visa are first your uh, qualification documents, all certified copies starting from matriculation or 10th going up to the highest qualification which you possess. After that you must have the IELTS uh, exam result in original. You must attach it in original. Apart from that, uh, you must attach the bank statements for the last six months of the person who is supporting you financially during the period of your study visa. That bank statement must have funds equivalent to 15,000 New Zealand dollars for the maintenance funds for one year study and plus the course fees would be approximately above $15,000. The bank statement must be six months old and it shouldn't be a certificate from the bank but it should be a bank statement showing the list of transactions uh, done on the bank account. And the bank statement must have the income from known sources of income. It must not be a cash borrowed from somebody else and put it into the account but it should be uh, from the known source of income. When you file the application um, along with the, all these documents and a letter of offer from the college, then the immigration officer may, uh, if he feels fit, can interview the applicant over the phone or uh, on the basis of the documentary evidence, uh, he can approve the application in principle. That means that your application for student visa has been approved subject to depositing of the course fees for the uh, study in the institution in New Zealand. And if you have opted for FTS, which is called Fixed Term Scheme, then the uh, funds for the maintenance have to be shifted, have to be transferred from India into the bank account of the applicant opened uh, in New Zealand. Both these documents when sent to the immigration they will send your passport with the visa sticker. Then you have to uh, arrange your air ticket to travel to New Zealand and you have to pre-book the place where you want to stay during the period of your study in New Zealand. If you uh, uh, come to Auckland airport uh, you can find the airport shuttle buses which are very very nominal uh, costs as well as taxis which could uh, take you to the place where you are going to live. Uh, in case you find any difficulty in locating the, the accommodation or the course uh, the uh, place um, of your uh, study you can contact our voluntary organization which is called Voluntary Law Association of India New Zealand. It is a charitable organization and has a website where all the required information for student visa has been provided. The website address is www.vlainz.com 
or you can view my website www.indiannzlawyer.com.com I repeat vlainz.com or indiannzlawyer.com Here you can find bit of information about the student visa requirements or you can visit the website of Immigration New Zealand www.immigration.govt.nz If you are applying for a student visa for the first time, my advice would be to consult some competent licensed immigration advisor who has been licensed by the Immigration Advisor Authority in New Zealand or some competent experienced immigration lawyer who are able to help you. I as a lawyer in New Zealand uh, can provide you free advice over the internet on your email as well as if you want to talk to me over phone. That would be a general advice for the immigration policy and not a legal advice uh, for your particular case. So uh, I wish you best of luck if you want to apply for your student visa for New Zealand. The course study date starts from February onwards. So you need to talk to your licensed immigration advisor before January or I would say this is the right time in December to uh, see the immigration advisor. Thank you. Best of luck.